Earlier this year, the so-called Olive Theory went viral. It is essentially the same concept as Opposites Attract and was popularized by the TV show How I Met Your Mother. The theory goes that in every couple, one person should hate olives while the other should love them, resulting in the perfect balance, according to the show's protagonist Ted. It seems the Prince and Princess of Wales similarly have the perfect balance as they too have differing opinions when it comes to one eating habit, although theirs is more British and contentious. Last month, the royals, who are both 41, headed to a tea party held at St. Thomas's Hospital in Westminster to celebrate the NHS's 75th anniversary. While there, the couple met comedian and TV presenter Mel Gedroich, who discussed a controversial question about eating habits. Prince George and Princess Charlotte can't eat with Will and Kate, even on Christmas the former presenter of the Great British Bake Off was asked by the Prince of Wales whether she likes to have her cream tea like they do in Norfolk or in Devon. The Devonian method involves splitting the scone in two before covering each half with clotted cream before adding the jam on top. Meanwhile, the Cornish method involves splitting the scone in two before spreading the jam and adding a dollop of clotted cream on top. After Ms. Gedroich explained that she likes to do jam first as she believes it's heavier with the cream sitting better on top, Kate weighed into the debate. The mother of three, who along with William has a royal residence in Norfolk, confidently said, I do jam and then cream. But William, after a weighty pause, revealed he is the opposite, instead of being specific, he chooses whichever he can lay his hands on first. He said, I go with whatever is closest to me. It seems the olive theory could well be applied to these two. Don't miss. Beautiful UK island where William and Kate took children on holiday, in sight, William and Kate furious with Harry over explosive accusation, insiders claim, latest, King Charles and Harry peace talks off the cards as reconciliation hope dashed, report, the couple, who have been married for 12 years, are well suited, according to a leading body language expert. Judy James who gave her two cents when comparing old and newer images of the couple, told the Daily Mirror that the happy pair look close, and like people you would want in your social bubble, popping in for drinks around the barbecue. She continued, happy and incredibly relaxed together, they look like they'd be the best fun. Some couples grow apart during a decade of marriage but William and Kate's body language suggests they have grown closer and learned to enjoy life openly and with confidence. William and Kate, who met at university in 2001, have a down-to-earth relationship away from the spotlight. In years gone by, they have been seen enjoying date nights together, particularly in Norfolk when staying at their Boltoll, and Castle, or have spoken openly about how they like to get a takeaway together, usually a curry. However, the couple's marriage is allegedly not all sunshine and rainbows. According to Tom Quinn's book, Gilded Youth, an intimate history of growing up in the royal family, published earlier this year, they fall out, row and shout at each other, much like any other couple. Mr. Quinn, who interviewed Palace staff and insiders for the work, said, Kate is very much the calm one. William is the one who's a bit hot-headed. We see an example of that in Harry's book, but Kate is very level-headed. She's the one who will pour oil on troubled waters and go let's not stir things up. Of course, privately, William and Kate, like all couples, fall out, row, shout at each other and say unkind things to each other, but Kate is an appeaser by instinct and William always gives way as he had more than enough emotional turmoil, divorce and disruption as a child. 
He hates confrontation. 